In this video I will show you and tell you about crafting your gear. As you may know, in Revelation Online there are about four ways to get yourself a gear. First is combination, second is as a drop from raid bosses in dungeons mostly. The third is uh, from Demon Slayer points, from order you can buy PvP gear and you can also buy PvP gear from rank. But the fifth way and the one I'm gonna talk about in this video is crafting yourself your gear. One of the NPCs that will help you with that is called Kokogen and he is located in Sulan right here. Right here. As you can see this is uh, my coordinates. We ca go to him and let's talk with him press this and here it is as you can see here is gold gear you can choose level you can choose either weapon armor or ornaments let's go with armor as the weapons are terrible actually especially for low level because you get a free golden weapon so I am currently playing on gunslinger so I need laser armor well let's talk let's take this head for example as you can see there are three ways of crafting normal fine and exquisite normal craft will have low, lowest stats will cost you 3000 coins and also requires this uh, craft stats as you can see almost 27 vigor and 13 intellect this uh, bonuses will be random when you craft this item and this is gonna be the normal crafting item for fine crafting you will need these items that i don't think are available on euro servers right now but they're gonna be in soon they won't cost much so it's probable to do easy to do anything i mean as you can see it has a lot more stats basic stats than normal one and exquisite crafting is even better i think it's even better than combination gear but it needs these items that you can buy only in game shop so this is basically donation gear so it's not much better than combination gear but i think it is a little bit if you especially if you get the best craft possible there is a little bit chance even as you can see here is a, a diapason in which you will get so it's it's physical armor gonna be from 229 to 305 so each of these has the max stats the same okay i get, i think we got that now where do we get materials to craft them okay the first two items i'm gonna talk about are billets and formulations you will get them from your crafting Let's close this one and open our crafting window right here. Oh, you just need to press V and here it is. Then we open, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this tab where all the recipes are located. And let's see. First of all, let's try this one. As you can see, this, I won't tell you the names because this translation is wrong. Formulations. As you can see, here is basic formulation for weapon. You need uh, level 5 of this craft and these uh, materials to craft it. Then you ca can have more advanced formulations. This is armor formulation and this is accessory one. So basically this is where you get your formulations. Now, where you get your billets? Actually get them from both here and here. From here we will get, here it is, on this page. Uh, billet this is billets for we we weapons on this one we have billets for rings and uh, I think no you won't see any billets here but you can find them here also on this first page here's billets for armor and this is it so basically this is where you get your billets and your formulation you can also buy them from an auction house so just type billet Ah, I'm sorry, I need to type a little 
longer name to find it. For example, basic tough armor billet. Let's type it. Uh, and here it is. It costs about 14,000 coins. As you can see, there are tons of them on the market right now. And formulation. Oh, okay, it's called the same way. Basic armor form. Oh, sorry. I was I was looking at formulation a moment ago. It's my mistake. Basic tough armor. I need to write to type. Basic tough. Okay, here it is. It costs even less. It's on only less than four thousand. A lot. Also, tons of them on market. Now, this is it. The last and the most important piece that actually makes the whole price of the item is this. It's crafting instruction or basically a recipe for the, this item. You can also buy a recipe from Auction House. So if you will find it here, oh, sorry, I forgot to remember name. Well, crafting instruction, for example, I yeah. am. Seriously, this is short name. Okay, for example, here it is. Elementary blaster crafting instruction. As you can see, it costs much more. And this is actually one of the cheapest one, I think. Now, you can either buy from Action House, which is gonna be quite expensive, or you can do quests to, achieve, to receive those. The quest we're gonna take is here. This commerce steward, as you can see, it's green sign. You can get this quest on level 40, I think. It's available from level 40. And it's super easy to do, but you will need to have some cash on you, because you will have to spend coins on auction house to do this. This quest is super annoying. I will show you it. As you can see, this fat man gives it to you. Let's talk with him. And here it is. This is the reward that you will receive. As you can see, for each level the reward is different. For my level I will get three random equipment blueprints. Basically this is a crafting instruction or recipes that I need. So, for doing this quest I will get three recipes. It's good, right? But it isn't that simple. Now I took this quest and here it is. There is uh, here is a catch. I need to do 120 quests. Yeah, and this is uh, a quest that you can do once a week. So it resets it resets uh, every one day, Monday, and well, the quest itself is super easy. All you need to do is uh, use after pass finding go from NPC to NPC, talk with them, uh, choose lyrics, they will sing you a song, yeah. Uh, answer questions and uh, bring them stuff. That's why you need Auction House. They will constantly ask you to buy them fish, meat, uh, some ore, for example, I think copper ore will be required at some point and so on so on so you will almost at every step you will use your action house auction house and type for example wolf meat like so you will buy it and then spend it some items are super cheap some items will cost you a lot so at the end of the day as you can see here is i'm doing one of the okay as you can see here he required crocodile meat for next step so I just type crocodile meat, it costs nothing, so it's good, but there are gonna be items that cost something. I think I saw some material that cost 4000, so I don't remember which one. As a way, uh, it's effective, price, in, in price I mean, so it's, uh, it's gonna be much cheaper than buying it from auction house. And you will get a recipe for each 40, 40th quest, I think, yeah. So, it, you have uh, 120 quests, at 40 you will receive one recipe, at 80 you will receive one recipe, and, and one, on the last one you will receive another recipe. That's how it works. 
So basically this is it. This is how you craft yourself a gear in Revelation Online. And this is what the quest Old Queen Handmade is all about. I hope this will help you a lot and make your crafting easier for you to figure out. So guys, have a nice day. Goodbye.